What's up, E gang? It's your girl Ebony Elbo back to you with another negative vlog. This vlog is so exciting because tomorrow's surgery day, so I'm currently at the airport. Our flight is delayed three hours, so I would have been in um, Miami by now, but it's delayed. We're not even leaving here till eight o'clock. So yeah, um, I just wanted to check in with y'all. Go ahead and start the vlog, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Got me something to eat. I got a lettuce. Go ahead, I'm just changing passenger. What's your name? Still trying to stay with y'all. This is your fun. Hotel is the the Pullman. I think it's what you got, the Pullman Hotel check in because we got to check in before 12 o'clock. And then we're gonna go get my husband something to eat. So I see y'all at the room. Okay, we made it in the room. We're at the Pullman. It's supposed to be a four star hotel, but I'm not impressed. And that's what I get for cheating on Hilton because I'm a Hilton's diamond member. See, like, y'all, I don't like dirty stuff. Like, look at this. Y'all see those things on the door? Like, can y'all see? I don't, I'm just definitely not impressed by this room. But anyway, this is the bathroom. And I wish I wouldn't have prepaid because I would have got my money back. This is the shower. I think this is like an older hotel. Y'all know how older hotels used to be, like, the bomb back in the day? Whatever. This the little living room. It's a suite. But ain't nothing sweet about it. <laughs> it does have a nice panoramic view that's my husband look at this thing on the couch I'm definitely gonna write a bad review or whatever then it's like a little one bedroom not much light in here but whatever TV so yeah but, and then they got a TV out here oh I gotta remember so yeah I'm about to unpack, wash my face, unwind. What time is it, baby? I don't know what time it is. Probably like 12 a.m., so it's over for me. You don't think so? Well, 11.30? I can't eat or drink. It's over for me. 11.33, so I just need to go to bed, take my medicine, and go to bed, and I'll see y'all in the morning. I forgot to tell y'all that I put the um surgery center address in on my phone. And it's only 13 minutes away from here. So that worked out perfect. And that's good. So my husband could just like drop me off in the morning, come back and go to sleep. And then he won't be too far where he need to pick me up. So, and I won't have like a long, uncomfortable ride home. So that's good. But anyway, I'm going to bed for real this time. See y'all tomorrow. Say good night, baby. All right. <laughs> good morning good morning today is monday the 27th it's surgery day much awaited surgery day so i'm up it's like 8 15 or something i got up at 7 and i was like that's too early so i'm about to get ready my call time is 10 30. they sent me an email like late friday like after seven seven o'clock to be here at 10 30. so yeah, I got everything lined out for my hubby. So, let me show y'all what I got. Oh, look at my view, y'all. It's a nice little view or whatever. That being said, planes take off. But anyway, let me show y'all. So, I got my um, puppy pads, my mattress cover. I got gloves for my hubby. Just, even though that's my husband, I just got him some gloves. I'm about to scrub down with this. This and this. Hippo cleanse and it's a exfoliating um thing. I did not have my dial soap as well. 
This is vitamin C. Um, they like cough drops. I'm stuck in one now. Stop it from getting sick. It's vitamin D gummies. I got all my pills. This is a um lymphatic massager. And I bought the oil too and I left it at home, y'all, by mistake. But I, I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna list everything below. I have like a surgery um description. But yeah, this is supposed to like help with like um you know when you have to go get massages, they say you can do it yourself. I don't know, we'll see. The pain, arnica pain pills, the arnica gel, I got Tylenol, extra strength, Dramamine, the um itching cream. I got my procrastination compression socks my sheet and then i got my pads the pads is to cover like the incisions from the lipo to help soak up the fluid and then if it don't you know we got the puppy pads and this so yeah um i'm about to go and get in the shower and get ready and then me and my hubby gonna get to bed together so i check my blood pressure oh yeah y'all i have a blood pressure cuff too so i bought a blood pressure cuff be checking my blood pressure i checked my blood pressure this morning it was actually good it wasn't high and then they told me to bring a bag so i have this um this this little aldo bag and it got my robe in it and i'm gonna try to bring my i don't know if i want to bring my camera i'll put my camera and stuff in it and then i'm just wearing this little purple dress nothing under it and then i'm gonna put on these little shoes these silicone slip your feet in shoes Alright, so let me go ahead and get in the shower and get ready, and I'll talk to y'all in the car. Okay, y'all, I'm dressed. I took my bath. I'm sitting outside at front of the hotel waiting on my husband to go get the car. So my nose ring got off. I got to take my earrings off, but yeah. Y'all see that? Saggy titties for the last time. It's the last time y'all gonna see them. But yeah, it's like 9.15, and it's only 14 minutes away, so we got to be there at 10.30, so... I don't know, we might get my husband some breakfast. But I'm excited. My blood pressure was good. I told y'all that. I'm excited. I just took my blood pressure medicine. They did say if you take blood pressure medicine, go ahead and take it. And I think we may back go by Navy Federal instead of me having to call them and authorize a charge because um, I switched some things around, so I owe them a little money. Um, and I need to take it out. I think I'm going to just take it out of the bank instead of sitting on hold telling them to authorize the charge. But yeah, and then we'll be headed there. So I just um wanted to check in with you all and talk to y'all soon. So I'm in the back, y'all. It's like 12 or 9. I've been here since 9 41. They didn't have me on the schedule. It's been a lot, but anyway, I'm just ready to go to sleep and get it done. So I got all my stuff. I got all my compression socks. Um, this is the little room. Got a little TV. Got me a little heater, so that's nice. They just did my drug test and pregnancy test and all that. And then this gets the wall. You take your pictures on. So yeah, at this point, I'm just waiting for them to come back, and um, I'll be going to the back and yeah i'll talk to y'all on the flat side it's three o'clock y'all and i'm still waiting three o'clock and i've been three o'clock and it's freezing in here i'm still waiting thought i haven't even been in here yet so yeah i just wanted to check in with y'all i don't know Hey y'all, I made it to the flat side. The flat, call it the flat side. Come to TurboTax. What time is it, babe? I'm up walking. Do your taxes. I just woke up. <laughs> it's eleven o'clock. <clears throat> I got that nine forty-one. <clears throat> and I didn't even go back until. 4.58 when I looked at the clock that's when they was putting me to sleep and then I didn't get well out to what 8.40 what time you picked me up at 9 o'clock so I don't know why my surgery took so long <laughs> when I woke up I ain't even finna count that's the worst pain I ever felt in my life 
out of scale of 1 to 10, it was a 15. But <laughs> I'm glad I had that. Um, I'm up walking around. Y'all see me going back and forth. <laughs> I'm glad I had that pill in my bag. Because it took the edge off. And then my husband had already filled my prescriptions. So I'm probably... What time I took that pill, babe? I'm probably going to take another one. So I don't want to... I don't want to be in pain. And everybody was saying, like, my throat hurt, y'all. I guess they put a thing down my throat. <coughs> for my breathing. But... Everybody said... The lipo were hurt. No, baby. The titties were hurt. The lipo ain't even bothering me. It's the titties. The titties hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. But I guess I'm going to get up. Like, I guess I'm going to have my husband wake me up like every two hours so I can get up and walk. And, um, I don't know. I'm tired, y'all. I know everybody say that first day is the worst. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to talk to y'all again today. But it hurt. I do have two drains. I was hoping I didn't get drains, but I have two. Oh, babe, we need to empty them. we are getting full. So hmm, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's like five o'clock in the morning. I'm getting up, walking every like two hours. I'm soaking on the um vitamin C lozenge. I'm in a lot of pain. Well, I take that back. Discomfort. The pain is gone. Soreness. And like like I said, y'all, it's not my lipo. It's my breast. Very sore. I can't even lift my arms up. Like. My husband got to do everything for me. Um, baby. This ain't for the week. But, them girls, they sitting up, y'all. No bra. Look like I got on a push-up bra. And then let me show y'all my body. Hold on. So, yeah. Waist is snatched. Y'all see that? Like... And I'm swollen, but snatched. It's small, way small, swollen. I measured myself before surgery, and I was like um, 41 inches. So now I want to measure, probably not today, but a few days from now. But before surgery, I was 41 inches. But I got to get a new file hot today. Like, I got to. This thing is bloody and stank. Yeah, anybody who know me know I don't like being dirty. Like, this is driving me crazy. I'm trying to... I should have made y'all at a hotel with a laundromat because this hotel don't have a laundromat. So, that's an inconvenience. And these people have not said anything to me about post talk. So, and I'm going home tonight. Like, I'm ready to go home. I want to be in my own bed. I want to be at my own house. I done been through surgery before. I feel like I can handle this. I de never had my titties done. Did I have lipo? I don't think. No, because they never did. I don't remember lipo. I had lipo probably, but don't remember the self-care. But I know how to read Google, and I got common sense. But I do need to know about, like, my titties and the stitches and stuff. My breast. Let me stop saying titties. My breast. But... And then I need to know if I could take this file off. Luckily, I'm in a group. So I'm about to check the group and see like what the other girls did. And I need to start calling them. They don't answer. So. Oh, you know what? My post op is probably Monday. Because. They don't open today. Yeah, I'm going home. I do a post op with my PCP. Um. So, yeah, when my husband wake up, I'm going to send him to the lady. It's a place that everybody get, like, their fire house from. But they say you need to make an appointment because it's so hard to, like, get in. 
And I didn't want to pre-order one off Amazon because I didn't know what size I was going to be. So, anyway, from what I see, I'm happy. Can't really see. And it's too early to judge. Like, that's what girls, they go in and they judge their body too early. But what I see, I'm happy with. So, yeah, I'm about to keep walking. I'm whispering because my husband's asleep. Like, I done kept him up so much. I don't want to wake him up no more for right now. I look a mess, y'all. I can't even really wash my own face. Like, it's just very sore. Um, well, I see how I feel later today because girls be like, oh, after the titty job, you bounce right back. Da, 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 da. Whatever. I'm not really draining that much. So, I don't know. I might just have my husband pull these out because I done had drains before on my tummy tuck or, you know, in like six days or I might take them out. But I'll definitely be in the house. It ain't what I thought. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to get some more rest and I'll talk to y'all in a few hours. Y'all, I'm laughing because y'all ain't even say nothing. This is how delusional I am right now. It's Tuesday. I'm talking about my post out probably Monday. It's Tuesday. I'm out my mind right now. I had my surgery on a Monday. I'm thinking I had my surgery on a Saturday. I had my surgery yesterday, Monday, so my post out would be today. So, yeah, I'm going to be getting them on the phone first thing this morning. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, it's like, um, I don't know. Baby, what time it is? 11, 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock. I'm up walking. Um, my husband. Yeah, my husband washed my faha so good on hand. Let me show y'all. I got my bra off, y'all. My boo. I'm trying not to do too much, but I ain't even got to hold them things up. They, they sitting right. My husband said they perfect. Um, but you know, it's only so much I can show y'all on YouTube. But anyway. My husband hand washed it, y'all. All that blood. He got all that blood out. Look at that. It smelled good. My baby did that. Yeah. He just been, like, taking care of me. Oh, let me go back in here. Ain't no light in the bedroom. But I don't feel like I felt yesterday, but I still don't feel good. I'm still in pain. The lipo don't hurt. It's my breast. My breast is causing me the most discomfort. I got my faha off, of course, because y'all see it's being washed. Um, like I'm real swole. Real swole. But it is what I'm ready to go home. I think I'll do better at home in my own bed, in my own space. So, yeah, I wanted to check in with y'all. Y'all know my husband always on that phone, but I'll check back with y'all in a minute. Y'all, I wanted to say this. I forgot. Um, I wanted to tell y'all, like, um, my face is swole. I read some people comment that they be swole. My face swole. My throat hurts so bad. They had to put, like, a tube down during the surgery. They didn't tell me they were going to, but my throat hurts so bad. And I don't really have an appetite. My husband been trying to get me to eat, but I don't really have an appetite. Y'all, I had a horrible experience with Miami life, but we gonna talk about that. Like, horrible experience, but yeah, we gonna talk about that. I'm just ready to go home. I'm glad I got my husband here. I'm just ready to go. Like, I just be more comfortable and better at home. So, yeah, but they still haven't even called me back for my post op. And it's 12 o'clock. Nobody has called me yet. So I'm in the surgery group on Facebook. And a lot of the girls like been telling me what to do and stuff. I don't even think I'm going back. I am going to file a formal complaint. And your post op is included in your fee. And yeah, this has been a horrible experience with Miami life. But we'll talk about everything. Alright y'all. Hubby well, just got me dressed. We about to head out. Look at them things. He got a whole bunch of pads on me. So I should leak on a plane. Then I'm going to put my jacket on. I couldn't have did this without my husband. Thank you, baby. So we're going to head somewhere. I don't know. How to get my husband something to eat. He ain't ate yet. <coughs> Alright, y'all. 
<clears throat> I know, that's what I want, baby. Hey, y'all. So, we at the gas station. We filling up. I done take to run a car back and head to this airport. I'm so ready to go home. I feel better now my body. And then now my throat hurt like I'm catching a cold. And I don't know if it's from the plane or from the surgery center. I don't know. But my husband went to CVS and he got all me. All the stuff I normally get. My throat hurt real bad. Just got some honey. Some emergency. Some airborne before we get back on this plane. And I got some Benadryl. Just told you, yeah. I just want to sleep. I'm sleepy. In pain. I mean, like, my throat. But my body feels fine. So, yeah. I'm going to talk to y'all when we get to the airport. Uh. <laughs> ride it down. You want to what, baby? You're going to ride it down. I'm standing uh. back. <laughs> In the airport. Uh, you just ride this wheelchair. I'm gonna hear you talk. We stopped and eat. I don't even know what this restaurant called. Jack Nicholas. We won't focus. And I got some soup for my throat and grilled cheese. We have got a Philly cheese steak. It look good. I really want this soup. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday morning. Oh, let me try to sit y'all down. Hold on. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday morning. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 11.30. I just woke up. I'm home, as you can see. So I had surgery Monday. I'm home. I end up catching a bad cold when I was <clears throat> in Miami, but like I feel better today. Like my husband pumped me up with vitamin C and emergency, and he made me like this drink. He always made me so I do feel better. So um, I'm hot. You know how you sweat the cold lot and you hot. I'm just hot. Like I'm sweating. I'm sweating the cold lot. But um, today I woke up and my mouth is sore. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Like, my jaws and stuff. Like, it's sore. I don't know. But I'm still um, in pain. I'm still sore from the surgery. Um, This is how much I'm draining. So, we give the these a pot. Maybe 4 o'clock last night. And I'm just waking back up. So, not really draining that much anymore. I did change my bra. I didn't. I took out the surgery bra. Um. And my husband ended up getting my file house so clean, y'all. Let me show y'all. Hold on. So, yeah. Y'all remember this was full of blood. He got it so clean. But, yeah. As you can see, my waist is contoured. He got it um, focused. I'm real swollen. Real swollen. But I'm so happy my husband got the blood out. And... Yeah, this is how I'm looking. Mm. Real slow still. But I'm already impressed by how my waist is going in. Um, let me sit down so I can talk to y'all. I am trying to cover. Mm, I don't want YouTube to. You know. Here go my boobs. They look pretty good. My waist is snatched. And my drain. Uh, what it says, I don't know. Yeah, that's where my drain at. And then I bandaged up from here up to the top. And like I said, the um, the lipo isn't really hurting me. It's just sore. So what I'm about to do is get in the shower and I'm gonna put some um, of this ointment that we was putting on my son. And see, she got this brain surgery. I'm gonna put it on my scars and probably nail spore. I don't want no, you know, ugly scars. Only thing. Y'all, it's just my breasts are a little small. I'm used to having big breasts. He told me he was going to make them a little smaller, but they are a lot smaller. If I had to guess, they're like a C. And I've been, I was like a triple D. But I took a Percocet before I got in the, before I'm getting in the shower. So I took that like 15 minutes ago and I feel it kicking in. So I'm about to go ahead and shower and have them wash my um Faha and everything. 
while I'm in the shower in the bed and then I'll probably walk around while that's washing. Good morning, y'all. It's another day. So today is day three post-op. As y'all can see, I'm very slow today. I look pregnant. And I think it's because focus. I did a lot yesterday, like moving and stuff. So I'm very swollen today. I'm looking a little pregnant. Um, but so this is only how much my drains have drained since last night. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and have my husband pull them out. He went to the store real quick. So when he come back, I think I'm gonna go ahead and have him take them out. They're just uncomfortable and they're not really draining no more. Like I said, this is all that has come out since last night. So they're ready. I spoke to a couple girls in the group and they said they pulled us out on day three. I'm about to go and take a pain pill because, baby, I don't know. I remember having drinks with my tummy toe and it hurt pulling out. It was like a weird sensation and pain. And like, it's really, really, where the drinks at, it's really, really, really sore. But me and my husband don't watch YouTube videos, so we kind of know what we're doing. We kind of don't, but we're just going to go for what we know. You know, we got to cut the stitch and pull. So, yeah, I want these out. I think I feel better. Um, today, I haven't had to take a pain pill at all. So, a lot of girls kept saying, day three, you'll feel better. And I do. I'm just moving my legs, y'all. Sorry. But I do feel better. I haven't had to take a pain pill. I'm about to take one now. So, when my husband take the drains out, it won't hurt me so bad. And then my son is really, really sick. I have a bad cold, and he has a really, really bad cold. So we about to take him to the doctor because I think he needs some antibiotics. Like, he's been coughing for two weeks. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get dressed, take a shower, get these um, drains out. And, yeah, I'll probably end this vlog right here when my husband take the drains out. And then I'll start another one so that y'all can go ahead and get this one. So this will be um, pre-op through day three. Day three is much, much better, y'all. I feel so much better today. So much better. So, yeah, like I said, the only thing that's really bothering me is the cold that I have. You know how you just be weak and sluggish. So, yeah, I've had a BM. I had a bowel movement. Sorry, TMI, but I know some girls, they don't have one because of the pain medicine, but I have had one. Um, I'm, I don't really have an appetite, but I do eat, you know, like soup and stuff like that. Um... And yeah, when I got on the scale, I was 249, even with all the swelling. So I imagine I'm probably like, maybe probably was like 242 or something. I'm 249 right now with all the swelling, the fajas and the drains and everything. I'm 249. So I'm glad, no, I'm not gaining weight. That's good. So yeah, when my husband home, I'm going to get these drains out. I'm going to end the vlog. Y'all comment down below. Send me some well wishes. Don't forget to like, um this vlog your girl been pushed through even through pain trying to push through to make sure y'all have some content oh yeah y'all i had a massage last night baby Whew, that thing hurt and then i didn't know the incisions closed so fast so my incisions had already closed they had to be reopened and i could barely handle it y'all but mm, 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 mm. i kind of want to skip that but i'm not going to but yeah i'm supposed to do another one today but yeah, that massage ain't no joke, y'all. Make sure y'all get that, like, first day out, second day out. Because, I didn't know the incisions closed so fast. She said they closed between one and two days. So, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. All right. All right, we about, to, Come on, we about to take the drains out. I'm so nervous. Oh, remember he said put some Neosporin right there when you take it out so it could come out easier. No, he said. Oh, you hear it? Oh. Oh. God damn, it's long. Jesus fucking Christ. Man, this shit make me a nervous wreck. Ah, you got that motherfucker out now. <sighs> you better handle it. Alright, it's over.